There has been an amazing amount of content coming out about the new M1 MacBook Air, MacBook Pro and Mac Mini that was just recently released. And for good reason, the M1 chip is absolutely incredible from what all testers are putting forward in terms of benchmarks and real use cases. However, there are some reasons why I think this is maybe not as amazing as a main device for someone like me with the kind of use cases that I use my computer for. I am W2Best and I make in-depth gear reviews and tutorials and if you like this kind of content it would be super nice if you wanted to subscribe to this channel that gives me a lot of motivation to bring out new qualitative content moving forward. I just recently tested the 2020 Intel based MacBook Air and I have to say that I was pretty impressed by the MacBook Air in terms of the basic features like the screen, the keyboard, the trackpad and the speakers. They are all really good. And the thing that really put me off from the laptop was the performance of it. Now enter the M1 chip that Apple has developed themselves and therefore leaving the Intel based CPUs. This is a really, really big step up in performance. The MacBook Air, that is a fanless device, can now drive heavy 4K editing, for example, which is absolutely amazing. However, the way that I am working normally in my office setup is with one Quad HD monitor and then another Full HD monitor in portrait mode next to it. And for this, I need the possibility to either daisy chain through one USB-C port to display port to the first monitor and then onwards with another display port to the second one. Or to drive one monitor with one output and then use the other output for the other monitor. So these new M1 CPUs from Apple, they only support two monitors in total. This means that you can't daisy chain over Thunderbolt 3. So even if Thunderbolt as a regular standard has support for dual 4K monitors, it won't happen with the M1 chip. And this is mainly a problem with the MacBook Air and the MacBook Pro 13. Because with these, the internal monitor counts as one of those two monitors. So you can only connect one external monitor. I think this is quite lame that Apple has not only removed two Thunderbolt ports from the MacBook Pro, but also made them less than the regular Thunderbolt standard. In the Mac Mini, you are able to use two monitors. In this case, it will be one over Thunderbolt and then one over HDMI. So if you want a double external monitor setup on your desk, you can still use a Mac Mini with the M1 chip. I don't think this issue has been brought up by enough reviewers because everyone seemed to be praising the M1 for everything that it is. I think though this is a really bad left out from Apple, but the reason I see for it happening is that they will be bringing out a more advanced chip of their own, which will be in their more premium devices like the MacBook Pro 15 and 16. And in those units, you will of course have to have the capability to use multiple monitors. However, I think that the MacBook Pro 13 is still used by plenty of people that would consider themselves somewhat pro users. And especially with this kind of performance bump that you get with the M1, then I think it would be really nice to use as a main work laptop with a dual 4K monitor setup, for example. But this will not happen with the M1 CPUs. They will only be able to drive one 4K monitor over Thunderbolt. So with both MacBook Air and MacBook Pro, this is what you're gonna have to stick with. This means that I will unfortunately not get one to try to replace the Lenovo Yoga Slim 7. I think the performance and the ports together with the price of the Yoga Slim 7 still makes me wanna keep it. And I don't think the M1 MacBook Air, for example, is a viable contestant with this limitation to it. What do you think? Is this something that is really important? And did you even know about this? Let me know in the comment section below and I will uh, get back to you as soon as possible and have a bit of a discussion down there around these issues. 
I am W2Best, I make in-depth gear reviews and tutorials, and I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day, bye bye!